Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus Ottawa Senators as after losing up in Montreal, Quebec, in a very disappointing effort after it looked like the boys were getting it going. They try to come back and still show that they definitely, even albeit in that game, I don't see us getting to a shootout if it was during the 10-game losing streak. So it's still better, but you got to play a lot better tonight to beat a team like Ottawa, who's better than the Montreal Canadiens with a lot of young guys like Drake Batherson, Josh Norris. Obviously, you got Timmy Stutzla. Uh, you have a lot of very good young talent there. Brady Kachuk, uh, even Formanton, uh, Connor Brown. So, like, you got you got to watch out for this team compared to a team like Montreal that had millions and billions of people out, where the only people out for the Senators are Zaysev, who's out for a few weeks, White, Brandstrom, Shane Pinto, and Josh Brown. So they have some key factors out, but it's not like Montreal that had like 10 people out that were all very key, like Dvorak, the list goes on and on that I talked about there. This is another team you got to try to take advantage of, pick up the points that the Flyers want to get the tide turning, get going in the right direction, right? and get pushing in the right direction as they head into the holiday break. These are the teams you have to pick up the points against in the Ottawa Senators. Now, for our Philadelphia Flyers, that makes it more difficult. We obviously likely would have started Carter Hart, one would think, in this game, where he is out with an illness. Uh, Derek Broussard is still out with his hip. Nate Thompson is obviously still out with his shoulder. And then Morgan Frost is not out of COVID protocols yet, so he's still out of the game. And Max Wilman was unfortunately entered into COVID protocols, which means, he, and which is very unfortunate for the Flyers in that aspect. Of, well, we hope everybody praying gets well. Obviously, that enters COVID protocols, but Max Wilman was on fire as a rocket lately, and now he comes out of the lineup. But fortunately for the Flyers, Joel Faraby, it's going to be Faraby, Gatoria, and Konechny is the first line as Faraby's back, and then it's Limblum. Uh, moved up to the second with Giroux and Atkinson. Lawden then is going to be the third line guy where Wilman was with Hayes and Van Riemsdyk. And then I'm not so sure. I wonder if Lawden would have been on the fourth line if that line was doing that well, if Wilman was still. And that would have been interesting to see. But then you have Cates, who scored his first goal last game. So it's all about that step-me-up mentality, right? Well, now it's about Jackson Cates stepping up again just like he did last game. It was, the, it was the Phantoms party last game, really, and the Carter Hart party to get the Flyers to the shootout. Now we need the upper guys to pick it up in this game and the upper lineup guys to play like we expect the upper lineup guys to play, not the Patrick Browns and the Cates and the Wilmans and the uh, McEwens of the world to be the guys that are kind of uh, pulling the carrying weight there like it was in the Canadian game. This game, the, the Flyers have to come out and establish the push through the, the zone better, uh, play a much better game overall like they did against the Devils when they finally beat them 6-1, to one, where you exited the zone, you entered the next zone better, uh, you made much quicker pace decisions on on your plays, and you pushed the drive play a lot better. Uh, the, the Flyers, if they do that, they are going to beat this Ottawa Senators team. If they play them like they played the Montreal Canadiens, they're going to lose to this Ottawa Senators team. So they they got to come out and play a very good game tonight. They got to take advantage of an opponent they should have beat at very darn least. At least they got, like they said on post game, a damn point after last game. That was something that they started so piss poor they probably didn't earn. They picked it up as the game got on. But at least they picked up a point. You got to come out, have a much better start at home against this Ottawa Senators team and be able to carry momentum um, hopefully, as as games continue, depending what the NHL decides moving forward. But as long as it takes off next Tuesday into playing Washington at home, and then the last game before the holiday break, the 23rd in Pittsburgh, you got to start carrying momentum. You got to take advantage of these games because you have to have momentum going into those two because those are two hard op opponents, like I talked about in the video Andrew and I did on the Flyers, and even in the video with Steele as well. Here's the opponents you got to take advantage of. Then you have the next two or the difficult ones. So beat the Senators team. Take that momentum into playing Washington on Tuesday. Try to, of course, get at least a point out of Washington because that, even though you're playing them in the in the Wells Fargo, that ain't going to be easy. And then try to get at least a point out of the Pittsburgh Penguins to round out the holiday uh, before the holiday break. And the Flyers will be in pretty darn good shape. Uh, right now, when we look at the overall standing, when it comes to the wild card, the Flyers are... 
only four points out at 27 to 31 points for Detroit. So obviously, they're still in okay shape right now, all things considered, at 11, 12, and 5. So there's no reason to overly panic, like Andrew and I said about the Sixers in the Sixers video. As long as things can come back and this team is still moving in the right direction, we made both times we lost 10 games in our history. Well, not we did it before, but two times we lost 10 games in our history. We made the playoffs. A time we won 10 games in our history, as everybody knows as a Flyers fan, we missed. So this team is a enigma when it comes to how they do things. So I wouldn't say it's panic time yet, but it's get the hell going time for sure, as that was a disappointment after it looked like we were getting it going. It was a very bottom line effort against the Canadians to really get us to OT plus Carter Hart, and then now we have to pick it up for Carter Hart being out, we have to pick it up for a hot as a firecracker woman being out, we have to pick it up for Frost being out, to beat a Senators team that we should still be able to take advantage of in our home barn, and be able to win this game, and that's what the Flyers have to do tonight, to be able to carry momentum into playing two tougher opponents in the Washington Capitals and Pittsburgh Penguins before the holiday break. Have a great day and pleasant night, everybody, and please continue to subscribe down below to show the love and support. Really love and appreciate you for it. Go Flyers, let's get a W tonight.